previously this season on Little Women LA. Fence! Ah! <laughs> I had an idea of opening the beauty salon. Wow, that's a big space. So how's your business plan going? We will need to refinance the house. I have to provide for my family, and I'm struggling with it. I am creating Black Girl Moscato. Oh, hell no. The and name I'm... offends you. Yeah. I am changing the name. I appreciate your decision. We should do wine parties together. When I do my lunch, I want to do my lunch by myself. You're leaving? I'm done. Tara, nobody on my side. Do you not want me to get surgery? No. It's gotten bad between Todd and I. Hey. Promises. And you don't keep up. You know what? You. I think I need a break. Okay, go. You want to play pool? Sure. Yeah. I, I, you break. I suck at pool. <laughs> What does that mean? I get like five turns? No. I don't know. <laughs> I finally had my wine release party last night, and it was amazing. The last few months, it's been so stressful trying to get this wine finished, but now I could breathe again. I really, really enjoyed the party. Everybody seemed to have a really good time. Good cheese, good wine. I'm glad yeah. everybody came. Well, the, other than Elena, but you know. Yeah, it sucked that Elena wasn't able to come. Did you call her? Yeah, she, hear... she said she was sick, but, you know, she was sick at the boss, my boss's back party and she showed up. I mean, this was kind of like really important to me and I really felt that she could at least just came and did like a cameo. Right. I don't know what's going on with Elena not being at the wine lodge, but Elena routinely backs Tanya. I definitely think Tanya is taking Elena not being there too personal. Not only at my launch party did Elena not show up, but my daughter drops a bomb on me saying that she's gonna be moving to Vegas. And That's awesome. No, it's not. Why? I don't wanna be here by myself. Girl, it's healthy. She's young. I think Vegas could be good for her. What if we do like a girl's trip in Vegas and she can scope it out for herself and you could be there with her? I think we should all stay together, like maybe in a house. A nice house? Like VIP with a pool the okay. whole night. All right. And I will let the girls know. Even Mika. Don't forget to put Mika on that text. Okay. I know Mika has had run-ins with the girls before, but right now everyone's cool and there's not a better person to go to Vegas with. I mean, that girl can party. She cray cray. Viva Las Vegas, baby! Vegas, here we come. Fudge. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got some awesome news for you. Bring it on. All right. You know how we looked at several properties, right? Yes. And know the one that I completely fell in love with, right? Yes. So I just got off the phone with Jason. All right. We negotiated. We got the space. Nice. Yes. Congratulations, baby. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to us. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Starting my own business has been way more stressful than I ever imagined and took much longer than I ever wanted. But securing this space is a huge step towards finally opening my beauty bar. Now we get to do a fun part, is picking out the colors, work on the design of the salon. When we had the construction in the house, that was a fun part. When we get to choose everything. It was everything a fun part for you. Decorate. Yes. It was a little stressful for me. It was a little stressful to stay on the budget. That's a little stressful. But you didn't. But this time, it's going to be different. OK. I know that I have expensive taste. And I know that personal worries about me spending money. But I'm going to do my best to stay in budget because I really want this business to be a success. We're going to start budgeting. I know that. Mm -hmm. But uh, the girls invited me to Vegas okay. in a few days as a last Hurrah. fancy trip. Before, <laughs> Before yeah, we'll start, start budgeting. Down. Yeah. 
And you should go on that trip. Because you know what? This is gonna take up a lot of your time. You need to get out there and kind of let out some steam. All right. Before we get into this, so. Yeah. I'm excited that we got it, baby. I can't, I'm excited for us. I can't believe we're business owners. We are. Yeah. <laughs> love you. I love you too. I'm at my wit's end with Todd. Our fighting has gotten really bad lately. And after I told Todd that I wanted a break, Tanya texted me about a Vegas trip this weekend, and I'm in. My parents live there now, so we're gonna go to Vegas, spend a couple days with girls, and then spend some time with my parents. I don't know how long we'll stay. I just have things to figure out. Hey, is everything okay? I'm packing. May I ask why? Because I miss Grandma and Grandpa. And I thought it would be a good time to go to Vegas. Tanya and Julie and the other girls are coming too. So why don't you invite your friend Drew? Okay? Okay, um, I'll give her a call. But is everything okay with you and Todd? I need a wife break. Oh, you've heard us fighting. Like almost every other day, basically. Okay, every couple fights. Mom, okay. I live here too. I'm, I'm get, I get affected by it too. You gotta realize that. I, that's why I'm taking you to Vegas. I don't want you to be around that. I don't want to be around that. I don't want to talk about it. I want to go lay out by a pool, even though I'm not skinny yet. But Who I'll, cares? I just don't care. There's so many famous curvy women models, and you're a curvy model. I'm not a curvy model. You've done runway? Yes. You've done photo shoots? Yes. Then you're a curvy model. <laughs> It's been about two weeks since my gastric sleeve surgery, and I've already lost 15 pounds. I just feel like this new woman ready to take on life, and I'm not gonna let anybody take that away from me. You know, Mom, I will always be by your side. I am here for you. I support you whenever you do, because you and I are, are a team. I love you. I love you. You wanna go down the slide, Benji? No? You like the bucket? Daddy, now can you take more fun, please? No, not right now. Okay, Maybe later. Mama, can we play water balloons? In a little bit, okay? Benji. She's done in a little bit. Yeah, in a little bit, not now. Come on. Come on, Benji. Mama, Hi, Mama. Mama. You okay? No. What's wrong? I don't feel very good. What's wrong? I don't know. I'm having like chest pain right now uh -huh. and chest pressure. My heart's racing and I feel like really lightheaded. I have suffered from hyperthyroidism for a long time and it causes me to have higher anxiety and heart palpitations. I have had panic attacks before, but this feels different. What do you want to do? What do you think you need to do? I, call, I just called the doctor. Uh -huh. And he said, I told him, because you know I'm going to Vegas, and he said that I shouldn't go anywhere, that I need to be home and rest. If, obviously, if the doctor's telling you not to go, then yeah, I don't think you should go either. And that he wants me to do further testing on my heart. With my type of dwarfism, cartilage hair hypoplasia, I really have to watch my white blood count because my immunity could go lower and the medication that I'm taking for my hyperthyroidism is also causing my white blood count to go low. So hearing that my doctor wants to take these tests to the next level is terrifying. I'm just scared. Well, I mean, if you're telling me you don't feel good and you feel like your heart's like racing and you're gonna pass out or something, then you need to go to the hospital. Okay. Let's go. going to Vegas to look for her and her partner. So excited. I can't wait to get my drink in and gambling on. Living like Vegas! Vegas! Woo! This is a nice break from Todd. That's not how you get your luggage!
This is how we roll. A big limo. This is our limo. Look at it. Wow. Hi. Little women, big limo. Oh, the struggle's real. I'm sorry. Damn. Oh. <laughs> this weekend is going to be awesome, and I just wish Jasmine was here. But if she's having heart palpitations and panic attacks, Las Vegas is the last place for her. Because once drinks start flowing, who knows what's going to happen? This champagne here. <laughs> All right, guys. We're See here. You. No regrets in Las Vegas. <laughs> what, what's that in Vegas? Stays in Vegas. <laughs> This house looks amazing. Thank God we're not camping. Whoa. 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 Look at the nice. There's a lot of things in here. I see photo shoots <laughs> All everywhere. Day. I'm seeing All day. Cool. Let's go over here and look at the kitchen. Big kitchen. There's no way you can reach the sinks, ladies. <laughs> Mika, I have something to tell you. I see a really good room. You should clean it before anything else does. I'll put my purse down on the bed. And that means we claim it. Oh, look, this is nice. Look, I licked it. Licked it. All right, I'll lick it too. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they sanitize these sheets. So do you know bars like on the strip or like what is your? Sweetie. No. Whatever you need. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> this girl's trip is everything to me. I'm going to go visit my mom tomorrow, but tonight I'm letting loose. And with Drew here, if Autumn can't get into a bar because she's underage, they can go out and have fun and stay safe. Woo! Love Irish bars. I love the Hey, well, we'll Vegas Irish ladies. Oh, okay. Hey. Let's figure out what we're doing tonight. Yeah, well, what's going down? Well, we were just talking about it and like saying like we should go like to like the strip or like go have fun. Bars I don't I don't yeah. think we should go to the strip. I think we should go to downtown Fremont Street instead of the strip. How messy are you, you gonna get tonight? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to behave myself. You can't behave in Vegas. Who, who behaves in Vegas? YOLO. For me. As long as you don't prank me, we'll be all right. Just don't call me pretentious if you get sloppy tonight. I'm not getting sloppy, girl. The girls might get nervous when I start drinking, so I'll try and turn it down a little bit. But we're in Vegas. They should turn up their craziness so we can all meet in the middle and have fun. Let's let's get some drinks and get Vegas started. Yeah. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay, that's what okay. I like to do. Okay. Jasmine is always trying to get me to do shots. And I don't do tequila shots. But I'm missing my girl, and in honor of her, I'll take a shot. If I could build up the courage. Oh, you okay? <laughs> All right, ladies, I'm going to check some IDs. You got to be 21 here at the bar. What are we going to do? Don't worry, We're not checking. You're not drinking. Um, do you have any ideas? Yes. Okay. How about you? I do need your ideas. You have to be 21 years old. All right. She has to leave then. You have to leave, baby. All right. Well, you guys have a fabulous night. Hun, it's not a problem. Just get a tattoo. What? Ooh. What? <laughs> you better not. <laughs> she really should get a tattoo. We should start the autumn tattoo fun. Who's it? <laughs> I know I sound like a hypocrite because I have a bunch of tattoos, but I don't want Autumn to go out and get a tattoo on the fly. I want it to have meaning. Besides, I don't want my little girl to grow up yet. This lady has longer legs than us. For the first time in forever, I was actually having fun with the girls. And then I get this text from Autumn. Meet me at a tattoo parlor. Oh, God. Please, God. 
don't say this is happening. Not my baby girl. Kind of badass. It is. Killer. Hi. You on him in here? Oh my god. Kind of badass. It is. Killer. When Autumn left the bar and said she was going to get a tattoo, I didn't think she was going to go through with it. Like, what the f Um, don't freak out. Hi, <laughs> Percy. But it's beautiful. <laughs> I think my mom said that. <laughs> I can't breathe. No. This is my decision. Yeah, but you're a realtor, and it, it... I can cover it up with makeup. I have four tattoos. My first one was on my hoo-ha. Not my proudest moment. The one on my back, I let my son draw when he was like 10. It's a rainbow with a pot of gold. And now that I'm older and sadder, I, it looks like a penis. Like not a penis and then a penis. So I can't be a hypocrite and get mad at her, but I'm still freaking out. Just make Why that the only one. Okay? Yeah, it's I'm fine. I'm gonna meet the girls at another bar. Love you. Don't forget to tip him. Thank <laughs> I did my first one at 17. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't know what condition they're gonna come in. Maybe they will have to like carry Mika in. What you guys been up to? Autumn just got a tattoo. Uh, like mama, like daughter. That's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe she did it. So I texted all of the girls to meet me here at this club because I wanted to finally announce my big business news. And it seems like a perfect place for it. It is super exciting for me and I cannot wait. I have an announcement to make. That's why I brought you here to this beauty salon bar. After going back and forth, I finally found the perfect location and I finally signed the lease for five years. Oh. So we're starting to get you. Here's to a little bit of beauty, but here's to women in business. Okay. Heck yeah, boss bitch. Is this why you didn't come to my uh, wine lunch? You think I didn't come to your opening because I didn't want to? I don't know why you didn't come. I'm a sick girl. You should know better than thinking that I didn't go. Only, only thing, because I was only just thing, doing something Only else. thing you asked me about my wine was, what's the name? I asked you about the label, how it is going. I don't know. I'm really hurt that I've been with Elena all day, and I'm the one who had to bring up the wine launch. If Elena wanted to be supportive like she said she did, she should have brought it up first. We were just talking about this, like supporting each other in our new ventures. Would you come to her opening of her blowout mark? If I'm not sick. I got a question for you. I have split ways with Black Girl Moscato, but we're under the same company. Would you still go to the launch party of Mini Mama Moscato if Black Girl Moscato was at the same launch party? When Tara said she was going to drop the name, I thought I wasn't going to have to hear Black Girl Moscato ever again in life. But here we go again, back up in my face. That's a trick question. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's only a trick question because she doesn't want to go because of the title, but at the same time, she want to be a good friend. So that would be a trick question. Are you going to have any launch parties uh, like with your own line? We're individually selling, but we're releasing at the same time. So now you have two ones. I don't have two wines. She bought me out of all Black Girl Moscato. But you're having a launch party together. Because we're under the same company. That sounds like you got two wines. <laughs> I call it <laughs> I've done a lot to change my wine for Tanya. So it's really that Tanya is taking this like a joke. And I feel like it's making me second guess my relationship with Tanya. So there's two Moscatos at the same launch. That's crazy. Tara said she gave up the name Black Girl Moscato, but having it at the same launch as Mini Mama, nothing's changed. She's still supporting it. I think she still owns them both.
I think it's actually time to call it a night. I know it is. Well, I'd like to go back to the house. Autumn's about to be here any second, so I'm gonna wait for her. When Tara announced Mini Mama Moscato a few weeks ago, I knew she was still involved in Black Girl Moscato. And tonight, Tara just confirmed that both wines are under the same umbrella. Once a liar, always a liar. You OK, girl? Mm, nope. It's bull It's total bull That's why would you still come? How long ago did she tell you that, that the black girl Moscato was, like, cut off? Well, now I feel that she's never, ever even got out of the other one. She's your best friend. She's supposed to be honest with you. What the She's been a crappy friend. I'm really emotional right now because I feel Tara was, like, trying to bamboozle me and pull the wool over my head. And when it comes to business, I can't trust her. Take your mom back to the house. I'll meet you there. I love you. Mm -hmm. Come here. Mm. This is some bullshit. <laughs> so this is a place that we've been talking about seeing. Um, like you saw, we have ballet downstairs. There's a concierge, 24-hour security guard gated. My head is spinning after last night, but today it's all about convincing my baby girl that there's no apartment in Las Vegas that's good enough for her. Okay. It is fully furnished. The furniture will stay. Girl, the kitchen bigger than my kitchen. You can see all of Vegas. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you have a great view of Vegas. Mm, I mean, I like the view and everything, but you know, I'm still not about you moving out here. You know, you don't even have a job. Listen. Oh. Let me just give you guys a minute. Feel free to get comfortable, and I'll come back and check on you guys. OK, thank you. Thank you. Angelique might have her master's degree, but she ain't making money yet. I don't want to see her set herself up for failure when she could live at home rent free. Now, this is a nice place, but why would you want to move to another state and leave me there by Easier. myself. It's not about leaving you by yourself. Yes, it is. You know what? I really feel this is all of TJ's fault because you was not even thinking about moving to Vegas until he brought his ass out here. I yeah. never told you about it. TJ and Angelique have been best friends forever, and there is zero romantic chemistry between them. <laughs> so if Angelique does move here, I'm not worried about anything happening between them two. I'm just worried about her partying all night and seven years of college going down the drain. OK. I'm getting a headache. And I feel like that's from Tara last night and what she said about the black Moscato. It, it really jacked me up because I'm like, OK, I thought we mo moved forward. And then, bam, I'm not a part of it, but we're under the same umbrella. I'm not a part of it, but we're having our parties together. Will you come? So it's like, now I've lost trust. I don't think Tara will ever be able to understand how I feel about Black Girl Moscato. So if she's planning on having a launch party with both of them, I'm just not going to be able to attend. Y'all recovering from last night? I saw how many drinks you had last night. I'm like, how? Where did it fit? Even though Tanya put a little buzz kill on last night, we had a really good time. And I think that good time should not stop there. We're going to check out the Neon Museum to see all of the retired signs from hotels. It is the perfect place for selfies. Elena, welcome home. See, you, you could have been in this trio if you wore your blue jean jumper One, today. One, two, three. You're good at photos. You don't ah. like her photos? No, I get her approval. Just give her a compliment. I get her approval. 
Beautiful, thank you. That means a lot to me. I might not have my usual photographer Jasmine here, but it turns out that Mika is not that bad with the photo camera. So maybe she has that good redeeming quality after all. How is everybody feeling after last night? I thought like everybody will be happy for me, but it was just so... Are you feeling like Tony was negative about your announcement? Yeah. I, don't she, I didn't that. feel like she was happy for me at all. I also feel that she is all about her businesses and she inquires very little about other people's. And the fact that I asked to do a lunch with her, she said no, so I asked my other best friend. I understand why she wanted to have lunch on her own, but I think her issue with it, I think for her it just sounded like it's still your business. Mini Mama is still my wine. Black Girl Moscato is not my wine. I've always envisioned my launch to be almost like a massive party, to have lots of vendors, lots of different companies, lots of celebrities. So I asked Tanya if she wanted to do a launch together. She said no. And I think that her not wanting to support me in that environment is odd. Why do I change things for her, support her businesses, and really like try my hardest to go the extra mile to make her happy. I know that everybody is gonna be at the pool later today and maybe I can like iron things out with Tanya. Can you please iron things out instead of hammering it out today? Hi, Grandma! Hi! Hi! You look cute! Thank you. Hi, Grandma. Oh. You look cute, too. Do you notice? Yeah, you look good. Thank you. You look good? I never get compliments like that from my mom. She's usually brutally honest and telling me I'm starting to look like Todd. But for her to say I look good, I must look good. 16 pounds down. That's really good, Christy. I'm so glad you're going to be much healthier. And how have you been, Audie? Bring it out. No. What did she do? Bring it out. It's real? <laughs> now, I would have killed you for that if you were my she kid. She got another badge at 17. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. care. How did you react when mom got her badge tattooed? She almost killed me. I was had the stomach flu, and I was <laughs> on the toilet and barfing at the same time. And she's like, what is that? And she went like this. <laughs> on my pee, pee She went against me to do I it. I did, and I, I, I tried I, it, because now my little ladybug on my vagina now looks like a roach. <laughs> 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 I might be overly honest and upfront with Autumn about my crotch, but I want her to learn from my mistakes. I'll text you when I'm at the pool, Mom. All right, honey. Okay, love you. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, so what's really going on with Todd? You know when you and Dad lived with me for a little bit? Yeah. It's gotten like a thousand times worse. Let me just get my phone. Can I get my phone? I'm going to be frank with you. When he texts me, I would text him back. And I guess there's like an hour where we didn't text. Mm -hmm. It's because I was busy. He said to me, basically, I bet all the other husbands' wives text them back. He's antagonizing me. He's, he's saying, I obviously don't want to be in a relationship with him anymore, but that's not the case. He hasn't slept in the same bedroom with me for over a year. He always gives me an excuse. Like, I don't want to walk up the stairs. My knee hurts. I don't like the bed. Like, there's always an excuse. So I said, I would very much like it if you go to Ohio when I get home. And... If you don't leave, I will. You told him that? Yeah. I want to be happy, and I'm not. And I want to be loved. And I want to turn around and see him, the man that I marry. But I'm alone all the time. And then you leave, and then I'm even more alone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, just, I want to be happy like you. I don't want to end up in a second divorce. <laughs> I, just, I want to be happy like you. I don't want to end up in a second divorce. <laughs> but it's, we've had, like, 
we went to Puerto Rico and like we had the greatest counselor. It was so amazing and he helped us. Maybe you should better go back to one of those places. <laughs> I, I know. I, I just really miss Hassani. <sighs> Four years ago when I married Todd, I never thought that it would get as bad as it is now. And it's just breaking my heart. It gets worse. He was always a spender and a collector, and he's been purchasing, purchasing every day. I'm thinking, he's doing this, he's spending all my money, and then he's gonna leave with all of it and sell it and have some money. You gotta get to the bank and know what you're doing. You know what, since I broke his computer, because we were in a huge fight. Well, he's got Autumn's. Yeah, well, now that he has Autumn's, Autumn is smart and knows because it's on her better. phone and we watch everything he does. I haven't even looked at these messages because I'm afraid he's talking to a woman. Because listen, mom, I've been through this and it's usually men lose interest. My relationship is like the desert and it's dying. One of my biggest fears is if Todd's talking to another woman and that would absolutely devastate me. I just don't have that connection with him anymore. And if he doesn't have that connection with me, then who does he have it with? Well, you're gonna have to go home, do an ultimatum. Um, I've done ultimatums. Because I told him, I can't deal with this anymore. And? And he says, I'll let you know when I can announce that we're breaking up this. So maybe he wants it. Maybe. Why the f would he adopt my daughter if he's gonna leave me? How much is this gonna f with my daughter's head? She's had men in her life fail on her. She's never gonna have a normal relationship ever. I know Autumn has issues with men, and if something happens with Todd and I, like, is he gonna ditch her like every other man in, in her life? I have no idea. You're between a rock and a hard place. File for divorce, that's all I can say. I'm willing to go to therapy with them, but if he's not gonna show me attention, affection, or if he just doesn't want to be in this relationship, maybe I'll need to talk to a lawyer. Change has to happen. Man, I haven't been on a diving board, 1995. That's when I was born. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so old. 95? 95. It's our last night in Vegas, and I am so glad I haven't had to apologize for anything yet. But the night is young, so let's bring on the drinks. Hey, mama. Hey, honey. How you doing? <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling better today. I had, I had a good night's sleep last night, talked with my daughter. And hey, y'all. Speaking of, look. Alexa's here. Is my friend TJ the one I was telling everybody about? Hey, mama. Hello, Hello, Long here. time no see. I'm glad you made it. I I need to talk with you. Come oh. <laughs> <laughs> us a drink. So. Please. Let's drink close. I've been knowing TJ for a very long time. Hell, he's like like an adopted son. But that brother, if he think he gonna snatch up my daughter and take her to Vegas, he got another thing coming. How you gonna take my baby away from me? She gotta leave the nest. Yeah, but not right now. Why not leave the nest with me? I, you can trust me. But she don't have to be it out here in Vegas. Well, why not? Look, in Vegas is beautiful. I know you don't want her to leave, but think about all the reasons she should leave. But like, me being in the house by myself. You know, I could slip down the stairs, I could trip, I could fall off the counter. Anything I think you're not thinking happen. about the big picture. You're, you're thinking small. You gotta think big. What about she got? She has a degree. There's so much business opportunity. Okay, I, I, I just, it's like you're taking my best friend. I think you should just maybe like think about her. I mean, it's like I really think you're being selfish. You're kind of holding her back from what she really wants to do. I mean, it's like, I really think you're being selfish. You're kind of holding her back from what she really wants to do. I know TJ wants what's best for Angelique, but is that really moving my daughter all the way to Las Vegas? You know, 
like a little harsh, but but I, I, but it I, was I with love. I, you know? I, I understand. I understand. I got to stop being selfish and think about me and think about her. And you'll have peace of mind because she'll be with me. Mm-hmm. You better keep her out of trouble. <laughs> and you better protect her. I'm a protector. I don't okay. know about the trouble part, but okay. I'm a protector. Okay. <laughs> you know, this year has been hard for me. First, I broke off the engagement with Kerwin, and he moved out. And now my daughter's trying to move out. And then I'm going to be in this big old house by myself. But maybe it's not just my daughter that needs to grow up. Maybe it's my time, too. Angelique, TJ have brought to my attention that I need to let you grow, and this is something that you want to do, and I need to support you. So I'm just letting everybody know my daughter is moving to Las Vegas. What? I want you to be happy. I want you to spread your wings. So I love you. Aww. So since she's moving out, is there anyone moving in? Not no time soon. <laughs> but I can't say that that won't happen. The last thing that Tanya needs right now is to say, I love you, Angelique. Here's a ticket to Vegas. And I love you, Ja. Here's a key to my house. And on that note, I'm officially moving to LA with my family. <laughs> Oh my God, it's gonna be so great. So we get crazy Mika every day? <laughs> more problems all the time. Yeah, you do. I've been working hard for months to move to LA and it's finally happening. Right now my kids are growing up in a small town and I'm really excited to give them the opportunity to grow up in a city with more diversity and culture so they can see that there is more out there in the world. So LA, here we come. This trip has been so awesome and the only thing that's missing really is Jasmine. I concur. Right? And she would be the one that would really have fun here. Hopefully she is OK and with her children. Yeah, probably is. I know Jasmine is dealing with her hypothyroidism right now. I just pray and hope that her health issues get better. So I'm glad she stayed home this weekend and put her health first. I brought a bottle oh of... Oh, my goodness. Oh. Tanya, really? Yeah, girl. Can you wait to try it? Yes, I'll try it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's strong. <laughs> ooh. She got ooh. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, congratulations, girl. I'm Thank really happy you. that at least, you, you know, at least here, you know, I can celebrate it with you. I just want to say that I'm sincerely apologize for not being able to make to your wine lunch event. I really hope that you don't really think that I'm not interested about your wine. Thank you. It really means a lot to me that Elena apologized for missing my wine release party. But at the end of the day, I know that heifer got my back. But it is so cool that all of our lives changing and taking yes. new chapters. I agree. We're pursuing what we love, and now we're like a business owner, a business owner. It's crazy. Just to clarify anything that was happening last night, I know that the two of you both thought that like I have any part of Black Girl Moscato. The only thing that we have similar is that both of our wines came from the same winery. That's it. But. If you want to throw shade in that, then that's unfortunate because I've really stood by your wine and I've done a load to make you happy. Tanya's really wanted my support for everything that she's done. And I have bought multiple Little Boss Body workout gear. I have bought multiple bottles of wine. And she's saying, I'll support you, but there's these rules. I'm just asking for her support without rules. I told you that I will support Mini Mama. But if you're gonna talk about it like you talked about it last night, I'm really good without your support. How you and Christy were like chuckling. I was not And then laughing. she went outside and cried. Look, I don't really give a f what you have to say about this. This is between Whoa. Tanya and I. And you say you're fine, and you say things are back to normal, but I really don't believe they are. Okay, well, I, like I told you before, I am fine with Mini Mama, but the Black Girl Moscato thing, you will never be able to understand how that affects it's me. It's not my wine, boo. OK, but if you had a launch together, I don't feel I would be able to come. I legit asked to do a launch with you. And you were like, mm, that's a horrible idea. And then you had your little chihuahua come after me. 
Don't call me a chihuahua. Okay. Did Pitbull, you not say bulldog, that you, you like they're both but under the thinking, same umbrella? I and I just explained winery. myself, you idiot. I just You're explained idiot. myself. I said it's Why under the same winery. Idiot? But the f out, you don't know anything about it. Oh my gosh. Is this more about are. between you and Tanya though? Thank like right you. now? Like let's you let's just the out. I've been friends with Tanya for over 20 years and considering everything I did for her to make this right. Does she even care about me at all? It was just an investment opportunity. That's it. I changed that investment for you. Then I was cool with that. Until you were like, okay, I'm having a launch together. Would you come? I feel like Tara is pushing me in a corner and trying to manipulate me to support something I don't want to. Because it's like, how do I choose between my best friend and my integrity? I feel like this is never ending. Seriously, are you guys going to be friends?